Hello, I'm Dr. Anna Dale, and our text today is chapter 14 of Darwin's On the Origin of Species. This is the final chapter. It is titled Recapitulation and Conclusion, and is about 30 pages long. Darwin here refers to the entire book as, con as constituting one long argument, and he reviews its major components. First, he reviews the difficulties and potential objections to his theory. Second, he discusses arguments in favor of his theory. And third, he extends his theory to some new areas, showing its power to explain things that would be otherwise unexplained on rival accounts. This is the consilience case for his theory of natural selection. Consilience here means that independent sources of evidence converge on a single conclusion. Converging evidence typically provides strong support for a scientific theory. The chapter ends with a lyrical conclusion discussing the nature and implications of the theory. In it, Darwin looks to the future, to the revolution in natural history that he thinks his theory will set off. Things to make note of as you read are what are the major difficulties facing his theory? Number them in the margins as you read. And in the second section, what are the major arguments that Darwin summarizes in favor of his theory? Again, mark them in the margin. And lastly, what additional phenomena can natural selection explain? Keep in mind that for Darwin, this is the strongest possible evidence in favor of his theory, is its ability to be applied to and to unlock new areas of scientific discovery. That's all for today.